This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, we got 40 Glock, someone who does not like WAC 100 at all. He put out some uh, video on his Instagram, and it's from like Grindhouse TV or something. And they, he said that uh, WAC 100 is lying in Clubhouse, saying that he did not get uh, touched. And he did show someone that was dressed just like WAC 100, and there's uh, some people surrounding him and you know stomping on him and stuff. Um, so 40 Glock says, I heard they sprayed his snitch ass with some uh, fire extinguishers on Mamas. Tell that the clubhouse journalists, all the busters on it with him. What it is, Zoo? <laughs> then, uh, then he says, uh, they be on that thing straight snitching and trying to trick real ones off the streets. You'll never catch me on that wiretap with them fools. And if you really in the field, don't let them police ass dudes bait you into talking on that police hotline room. Um, then he puts out some other stuff. Tell Wack 100 I got 10,000 cash if you release the deposition tape. Um, he says, tell Wack 100 I said my name is Mr. Run Me My Money. <laughs> oh, man. Because this is all from that, what is it, Sleepless? That, that, that L.A. festival where Drakeo uh, lost his life. Uh, WAC 100 also got into a bunch of scuffles, man. Like <laughs> that that thing was a mess, man. They they, they need they, there was not enough security and everything. I mean, it was just not organized. Obviously, uh, Black Youngster, as we know, released this video. People were reacting to it. People say Black Youngster subliminally dissing Young Dolph by shooting a video in a graveyard next to a tombstone that says Thornton on it. Young Dolph's real name is Adolph Thornton. Then he's, people say, I don't see nothing wrong with Black Youngster performing the song, but in his new video with him next to a tombstone with Dolph last name on it is a bit much. I don't think that's anything to LOL at, though, I'm going to be honest. And this is Black Youngster corny for that music video. He really is. Black Youngster shooting a music video on Dolph's grave shouldn't surprise anyone at all. You knew he was going to cloud chase, and he's cloud chasing himself right into... Uh, he's cloud chasing himself into a Fed case. They're going to start investigating him now. That's all that's going to happen. They're going to try to find a connection with him and the other guys uh, that were on the scene. Uh, you know, they're going to try. I'm not saying that's what happened, but they're going to try because it's, they're going to be like, wow, okay, so he, he went to the guy's gra uh, graveyard. I mean, they're going to be like, come on. And then it says, uh, so who else saw a new Black Youngster new disc video in front of Dolph's grave? Uh, Black Youngster is no for me. I do not play about nobody's resting place. I agree. Drakeo. So Drakeo's mom and I think K7, that's down with Drakeo. Um, they talk about what happened backstage once upon a time in LA Music Festival. I guess she gathered information from his friends. Uh, the rapper was set to perform at the festival when he was involved in a physical altercation backstage and somebody stabbed him in the neck. Uh, his family wants answers. Uh, Nancy Dillon Drakeo's mother revealed she had plans to take him to court over her son. You know, the promoters and stuff. She also suggested the fight started after 40 to 60 people rushed Drakeo when YG appeared backstage. That's what they're saying. Multiple people have said that. Okay, um, it doesn't mean he's. I mean, you know, it's just that's what's that's what went down. They had problems with each other. They shouldn't even have seen each other, right? Someone said he was hit in the neck. I saw him when I went to the hospital. They said it's a homicide, so I wasn't able to hug or kiss him or anything like that. I had to look at him through a window. I need this to be out there. I need people to know, and I want justice for my son. And I do believe that justice will be served. I will not rest until it's served, she says. Um, they said there were like 40 to 60 people. She says everything just happened so quickly. They started j trying to jump him. Drakeo's brother was trying to fight, but when he turned around, he could see his brother with blood gushing out of him. He was like, did they, t did they poke you up? I, he, uh, it was like there were so many of them. So she says, we do plan on going to court. This happened backstage in an event. Someone has to be held accountable. 
you will she said uh and there should have been more protection if you have metal detectors and you pat them down uh you had more people to come with you than you're supposed to and you allowed them to jump my son you didn't protect my son yeah this is gonna be messy this is gonna be messy because like he had he, I, I heard he had like 40 to 60 people with him and you're only supposed to bring like 15 people diddy has a huge come up okay so he sold um he bought Sean John back for 7.5 million. Okay. Now he sold it in 2016 for 70 million. Uh, also, as reported, Diddy sold a 90% majority stake in Sean John, which it was modeled by like Nelly T.I., Mariah Carey, uh, Mary J. Blige, and many more. Well, now he's bought it back. <laughs> also, um, he had filed a suit against Global Brands, Brands Group, who I think they're the ones who bought it, for using his image likeness and another uh, 60 mil for breach of contract, unfair competition, common law trademark, deceptive practices. He initially offered 3.3 million, ended up paying more than double the amount in cash to reclaim a brand that is his name. So. I understand. Um, then we got 50 Cent wants to reboot Cosby's. He said he always had a crush on... Uh, he always had a crush on Felicia Rashad forever. Don't know. She was like, can talk with her eyes. She was just it. I think it was the Cosby show. It was the only representation of black love on TV. That's true. Uh, I got to make a new one. Greenlight Gang. <laughs> all righty and that's about it right now i appreciate you guys for watching it's jordan tau with jt news i hope you guys are having a good day today i'm a little bit down today but i'll be all right you know it's just having one of those days um i'll be fine though i'm just gonna get some more sleep i think i'm just in balance right now but uh this is jordan tau with jt news smash that like button peace